hope you are doing well. Happy Halloween. It is the last day of October. Can you believe October is about to sashay out of the year tonight? The babies know not to ring my dough bell. Bless their little hearts. They don't need candy anyway. Somebody will be paying their dental bills. But I am just so tickled to come on and do a makeup look in salute to my mother, women everywhere, myself, breasts, healthy breasts, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Halloween, all of the above. D, choose all of the above. And you have a Think Pink Happy Breast Cancer Awareness video. Now, I know that Breast Cancer Awareness is in October. We know that. You know that. I know that. She might not know. It. But nonetheless, I think we need to keep that same awareness of any changes uh, in our bodies, in our breasts, through moving forward throughout the entire year, throughout the rest of the year, November, December, and into the new year. And let October power us all the way through the year to the next October, when hopefully we're reminded all along the way to love you and to take care of you. That being said, let's get this look poppin' because I am so excited. Well, let me see. I'm perennially excited, truth be told. I'm excited about a video in which I give you a self-check breast exam. Isn't this hair cute? I love it. Her name, um, we're going to call her Tootsie. That's what we're going to call her, Tootsie. Now Tootsie is doing a lot of shedding, so I may have to check Tootsie before we even get started. A breast self-exam is a checkup women use at home to look for changes or problems in the breast tissue. When you're doing this exam, you're looking at your breast to know what they look like in a healthy state. You place your left hand up above your head is one way to do it, and reach with your right hand to fill in the left armpit. Then you repeat on the other side. You're checking both sides for lumps or thickenings above and below your collarbone. When you do this, you raise one arm behind your head to spread out the breast tissue. You also Check your nipple or any discharges. Some experts, according to Medline Plus, disagree about the benefits of the breast self-exams in finding breast cancer or saving lives. But to do something is better than to do nothing. You need to know your body. Know if one breast is larger than the other, and that is typically the case, know when your skin is smooth, without lumps, know what a thickening feels like. Take time to do this exam once a month or at a certain time before your menstrual cycle or after. All right, so I've already moisturized my face, lips, and hands with this Equate Beauty Compare to Cetaphil, thank you, Gentle Skin Cream Long Lasting Moisture. This little inexpensive jar of moisture is all that. 
I thought I would use some new foundation because I got some new foundation, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I am going in with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup Oil Free. I need that because I'm oily in Deep Golden W10. And before we do that, I'm going to spritz my brush here. Not a lot of foundation, Claudia. And you might say, okay, are you going to prime your skin? Not today. That just kind of went on like it might be a little dark. I don't know, um, but you know I can always work with it. I don't want my foundation too light. I want it the right color for my skin, but sometimes I'm like struggle foundation in the store. When I bought some new foundation recently, I was like, hmm. Do you look right here to match your foundation color? Do you look here or what? So I'm still learning. What are you guys doing for Halloween? Are you planning on taking somebody's little person out if you don't have little people? If you have little people, do you take them out? Uh, at first, I thought I really liked heavy coverage, but when I saw some looks on YouTube here with minimal foundation, I was like, I can work with that. That can be a challenge for me. This little brush is so soft. It's a little wet and wild brush. I think, I think that's my color, that deep warm. What do you think? Looks good? Bring it down my neck just a little bit. I am going to go with my concealer. This is the LA, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. Bring it all the way down here. Cover me to cover my mancha, as uh, Monica Styles News says. <laughs> I love her. Trisha Bright has a new eyeshadow palette and I think highlighter palette. She has like four or five palettes. I said, go Patricia. Was that Makeup Revolution uh, that Patricia uh, collaborated with? Whatever my girl is doing it. I'm already taking her course and now I've got to look into how much her palette is. Patricia, you gotta slow down, girl. Trying on those uh, Kim Kardashian underclothing with that cute little belly bump. We'll forgive you, though, because you are Patricia. I'm going to contour with my palette here from Black Radiance. That little dog must be watching the children, but I don't hear anybody going up and down the street. And all these lights on and nobody has knocked. These are some smart children. Babies are smart these days. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this up tonight. And some people say they don't even do contours anymore. At least nose contours. But every rabbit to his own habit. 
Okay, the brows are on and one might be perennially a little thicker than the other. Hard Candy has a pink over here that I think is really pretty. out there moving about I didn't know we had that many babies on the street I'm gonna pull that out way over here and do it a little differently this time now I'm going to go to the Shaney palette with all these pretty pinks in here see how that pink intensifies it from Shaney's. I don't even know if that's Shaney or Shane, Shani's palette here. This palette used to be all over YouTube. Then of course, you know, got replaced by other palettes. But this is a pretty palette with all these pretty little colors. That's vibrant. And I like that. Make sure it's blended. Now I'm going to go in with this pink from the Modern Metallic Eye Collection Beauty Treats. Very economical makeup. That is a nice shimmer. Mmm. I'm going to put hmm, another shade of pink. Let's say, let's go with um, this, this lighter pale pink right here, over here. Let's go with this. Put that in the eye light. We are going with a darker shade of pink. Uh, let's go in with this one. It's, no, that's, let's do with this bright one right here. And put that under the eye. Ooh. I like that. This is Carly Bible's first palette. And now Carly has a palette, an eyeshadow palette that is so beautiful. And I will be using this pink right here. Just a little. Let me see if I'm creating too much of a situation. 
put that pink here. That is a beautiful pink. I've already turned my lashes up. Pays to have long lashes. No Tootsie, get back girl, get back. That is really pretty, even without lashes. So what I'm gonna do since my time is rolling, I'm going to put some of this powder around my face, bring the look together. And I'm using this, which is Rimmel of London's Radiance Brick. I like it. I love it. For my pink blush, I'm going with Max Max uh, Dolly Mix. I use this quite a bit. Now with that Dolly Mix popping, what I'm gonna do is take Carly Bible's pink. I'm gonna take her highlight and use her pink highlight. It really picks up. Yes, girl, you better work. Yes! Okay. We are going to do the pink in this um, NYX. I love this NYX slip tease and it's sugar Overload. This is um, NK Makeup Auto Lip Liner in the color Dark Orchid. I'm feeling this. Oh, yes, girl. I said you better work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick Halloween breast cancer awareness beat. So this video is a tribute to my mother, Clementine Young Moss. She was a beautiful woman who left an astounding legacy in myself and my siblings. So mwah, mwah, to you, mom, and to all of you whose moms, mothers, sisters, um, or cousins or grandmothers left that way. Much love to you and hope you have a sensational November. Bye! See you in the next video. Besitos y abracitos a todo el mundo. Little kisses and hugs to everyone.